Good day and welcome back to Sports Cub. And hang on a minute. I smell a derby brewing. That's what my boy Sydney FC are back in action today after a few tough weeks on the road. If you guys remember my last video, I did mention how hard this road trip would be if we kept playing like we did against Melbourne Victory. We already started with a loss. Let's not turn that into two or three or four. By the time I do my next vlog, I don't want us to be on the bottom of the table. And lo and behold, who could have guessed I would be right? We copped a 2-0 in Melbourne. We copped a 3-0 in Brisbane in the FFA Cup rematch. And then we got rid of Corica. He's gone. He's out. And he's, he's out. Corica, gone. Keys out for Corica. Laters. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. And then we brought in the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend, Ufuk Tele. And immediately 5-1 in Adelaide. Now, since I started vlogging, i.e. since the return of Allianz Stadium, we haven't won a derby there. We haven't even scored a goal there. We lost 1-0, which you can check out right here. And then apparently later on in the season, apparently we lost 4-0. I don't know. That's just a rumor, a bit of a sneaky rumor I heard. I, I can't actually confirm whether that's true or not. But then again, we did win both of them in Parramatta, including the elimination final. So it wasn't all too shibbity shabbity shoe. But that's enough of that. You guys don't want to hear me talk. You want to see the action and so do I. I'm so keen. It's Derby days. But first of all, I've got to get a haircut because at the start of the day, my hair looks like this. I think that's a bit better, isn't it? So let's take you into the fray. That was the first Sydney derby of season 2023. Actually, on second inspection, he's shaved off too much. I now look like an ultra. I fit in with the ultras. Speaking of ultras, there's something in the background that I'm trying to catch up to that you guys are gonna wanna see. My god, and if that doesn't get you excited for Derby Day, I'm afraid nothing will, as this little police helicopter is hovering above me, making sure that I'm not causing too much of a ruckus, just keeping an eye on things. It actually wasn't that hostile of a march from what I've experienced. Like, certainly, the Wanderers fans walking past, they were abused, but it, like, it wasn't to the same extent as I've seen three, four, five, six years ago, which I guess it's kind of good to see. But anyway, you're probably wondering why the hell I'm walking away from the stadium. I've actually got to go grab my camera because I didn't time this well. I'm going to get my hair cut and everything. But then we'll be back very shortly. The RBB has to enter through gate A of the SCG. And there is an army of police horses preventing anything obscene from happening. That is a level of security we have gotten to this stage. It's so bad that you have to enter through another stadium just to be segregated from the other active support. It's crazy. That is sick. Prepare for the storm of Sydney. Oh my lord, here we go. Okay, the one reason why I'm so isolated from everyone is because it's way too crowded down there and I need a vantage point. That's not going to be with like, heaps of people just jumping up and down. So I apologize, there's no atmosphere here, but it's all out there. Just listen to the noise. Come on! Hey, 
Mr. Nia! Say! Oh, they've chosen to attack our end the second half. Oh, that is spicy. Come on, Sydney! Woo. So they've chosen to attack our half the second half, which is opposite to tradition. But it's okay, because that just means we can score the winner right in their faces, like Kasinga Yangi did last season. We're going to get a little bit of revenge for that. Match predicts, I don't know. Our first three games of the season were absolute shockers, just like I caught in that video. We got rid of Karika. Tale's back at the hell. I'm going to go with a 3-1 win. I'm going to say it. There's going to be goals, goals, and goals. I don't know if we're going to score first, but it's going to be a 3-1 win. And also, it smells like a five-year-old's birthday party in here. Come on, let's see how this new attack under Tele functions. Come on. Oh, good touch. What a touch. Come on, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle, boys. He's have a dig. It's gonna be another corner. <laughs> let's keep the pressure on. Corner taken quickly. another angle at that. Oh, have a dig there, have a dig, have a dig. Oh! Good effort, son. Good effort. sucks is that they just continue to be louder than us like I can hear almost word for word from my seat on the other side of the stadium and that includes the cove being directly underneath me Breton is down uh, hopefully that's just a little bit of a crack nothing that they can't fix at half time oh that's madness that's madness have a shoot shoot oh. Time and not an insane amount from both teams. We're actually probably lucky not to be behind because they did hit the bar and forced a great save from Redders. I'm gonna give this very short because my battery is very, very low. It's only building, it is building, and I reckon there is something yet to simmer in this derby in the second half. for him. How did he just fucking bury it? You kept it savable. Oh. oh! We are getting some chances as Fabio comes off for get to Paddy Paddy Wood. that coming from a mile out like they're just we didn't do anything to clear it 
We weren't tracking them, we wore witches hats, our passing it to uncontested targets, it fell to a two on one, and they made us pay. And they go one nil up almost exactly the same minutes as they did in this very derby last season with around 20 minutes to play. Can we have a response this time? Oh. worse about it is that the RBB was absolutely quiet. I could barely hear them at all this second half and this just woke them up and now they're just rubbing it in our faces. We have no response vocally and on the pitch at the moment. It hurts. It really does. I don't like seeing my club go through this. Slovakian best. That wasn't Slovakian, that was Slovenian. Come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. Please. Please, boys. has emptied out so fast. They're gonna be singing on into the night. I didn't even have time for a review. Just just get me out of here. Just I wanna anywhere I wanna be anywhere but here. Get, get me get me the hell away from here. Five games and in only one of them we've scored goals. Ufik's got a lot of work ahead of him. Until then I'm out of here. There it is. Thanks boys a good piece of art yeah right that was a shamble that was a complete and utter piss pot yes we created chances but at the same time our defense does not look any different to what it did a month ago when i filmed the game against melbourne victory and yeah like i said ufuk tale has a lot ahead of him and ufuk if you're watching this boy you've you've really signed yourself up for a challenge you're trying to pick up all the crumbs that Corica left after his FFA Cup victory. Which, by the way, how the hell did we win the FFA Cup? How on God's planet Earth did we win the FFA Cup? Like, I know Adamson, we sold him, but that shouldn't make that much of a difference. We've got a majority of the same players. And for the first three games of the season, we had the same freaking coach and play style. So I don't know what happened. How on earth Jaden Kaczarski didn't score, I'll never know. He just lashed at it. He didn't even look up. He had so much acreage to aim at to the left of Lawrence. And he just hit it towards him. Like he hit it to the one spot that he was going to save it. And he saved it. And it had to be the man who left us, who we let go to the Wanderers, Sapsford who ended up showing us why we shouldn't have let him go to the Wanderers. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up here. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned. I still have a few older vlogs, which are slowly making their way up to the surface of my channel to be released. So stay tuned, because as always, there is content awaiting your clicks. I've been your boy, Sportscope, and it's been an absolute pleasure to bring you another match day experience vlog, even though, man, we didn't score again. I still haven't seen a score a goal in person this season and i don't know when i will so until the next one take care i'll see you later peace